so snakes are just out thick right now. There's another diamond back that just slipped off the bank. A real good look at him and his pattern. Again, not to be confused with a water moccasin. And there's a little baby diamond back out in the middle of the coulee out there fishing. There's a diamondback water snake with one of its favorite foods. A bullhead catfish. So he's got a head first. And initially it just looks like it's too much for him to hand. Just amazing the way they can unhinge jo unhinge those jaws. And just get that thing going down with the spines and all. So I think what they do is they work these uh, little creeks and they go up in little overhangs and into holes and and they actually find those catfish trapped up in there. There's actually a way to make a chicken wire trap to catch those bigger diamondbacks. The, that chicken wire mesh, they can swim into it but if you've got a little cage that you made and thrown a couple of catfish in there they'll swallow that catfish and they're stuck in that chicken wire for a day or two while they digest the catfish the trick is you can't uh, submerge it you got to leave a uh, part of it exposed to the air otherwise the snake will drown because they are air breathing so there's a crime being committed in the coulee Diamondback non-poisonous water snake versus bullhead catfish. And the snake's gonna win that battle about every time. I'll take that snake three or four days to digest that. 10 inch catfish before it's ready to go out and hunt again. So the snake can unhinge its jaws and then its teeth all face backwards. So it just kind of climbs up the fish and then will get a little grip on the fish with its teeth and then kind of pull it in a quarter of an inch climb up or so it's done about a you know eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch at a time and the snake basically is just climbing over that catfish the catfish is slowly going down the snake's throat Sometimes when one snake's swallowing a fish, another snake will show up and that creates a little excitement. As they can both fight over the same fish, usually the bigger snake will win that one. Of course, these guys are often mistaken for water moccasins, which they're not. They can get pretty good size, five or six feet long. Pretty heavy bodied snakes.
very common. He's pretty vulnerable right now. I could catch him pretty easily. A predator could come along and snatch him. He's just exerted a lot of energy. And having that bulk in him now will slow him down quite a bit. There's the bad boy, there's the lump. This pattern shows up pretty nice when it's all stretched out like that. You can clearly see the diamond shaped pattern on his back. That's a pretty good look. And we'll just leave him alone and let him digest his catfish.